Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see and hear a vibrant church, to hear the voices of the little ones. There is no fear. And that is inspiring. So my brothers and sisters, I don't know, has anyone seen the marquee, the sign out front? Yes. Little play on words. Jesus is divine. Stay connected to him. It's a great metaphor for our faith, for being a Christian. And we hear repeatedly to remain in him, to cling to him, to stay with him. We are blessed. Gerald Coffey was a U.S. Navy pilot. In 1966, during the Vietnam War, Coffey was shot down over enemy territory. He would become a prisoner of war for the next seven years. His home was a cell that allowed him to take three steps in any direction. It was a time of isolation and torture. But Coffee was a deep man of faith, and he prayed, God, help me use this time to get better. He took a bleak situation and used it for mental, emotional, and spiritual growth. His only communication with his fellow POWs was to tap on the cell walls. Coffee, along with the other prisoners, managed somehow to learn French. Through this tapping, they learned how to recite Shakespeare. But most impressive in this dire situation, Coffee and his fellow prisoners were able to keep their sense of humor. He often composed hymns, uh, composed poems to keep himself amused. Remarkable. And after his captivity, Captain Coffee became a motivational speaker. And his subject, keeping one's faith and sense of humor during difficult times. You see, Gerald Coffee had connections in high places. He was staying connected to the vine. My sisters and brothers, we draw our very life from Christ. We are the branches. And Jesus links us to one another so that we not only have friends in high places, but friends in every place in the community of faith. Abide in me as I abide in you. The great truth that Jesus is telling us, to seek eternal life, we must stay connected to him, the vine. Pruning helps the vine flourish, not only to produce more fruit, but the best fruit. And good pruning helps direct the vine's nourishment to the new buds that will make the fruit fruitful. This imagery should help us understand that faith, our faith, must lead to love. God is love, and love is God. Jesus, the true vine, the only source of nourishment we need, Firmly attached to him builds faith, strengthens faith. Our Lord, taking away every branch that does not bear fruit, this indicates that faith without good fruit of charity is dead. But the branch that bears good fruit, Jesus looks after. 
He cares for it. He prunes it, pruning it with loving attention so that it bears more fruit. Our faith should be viewed like a branch firmly attached to the vine. God's holy word here and the sacraments are the nourishment we need for faith. Believe in the word of God. Since faith is the first step in the spiritual life, it must remain firmly grounded in God's truth. This means to study the word, to read scriptures regularly, and adhere to the teachings of God's holy church. And we must work to believe those teachings with all our hearts and all our minds together. And God's pruning can be painful. It requires sacrifice and it requires patience in the face of trials. This lesson reveals the supernatural life of grace at work. God imparts this grace to move us forward. Our Christian call, embrace suffering with love. Respond to injustice with forgiveness. Offer mercy when we don't feel like it. And seek to serve selflessly those who seem undeserving. Captain Coffey's life mission was about something other than himself. His mission to encourage everyone he met that they were tougher and stronger than they believed. Regarding adversity, he wrote, have faith, be tough, hang in there. You will emerge tougher and stronger than you would have without adversity. Coffey learned many lessons in captivity, and he made it his call to spread those lessons, encouraging people to embrace their circumstances, to believe in themselves, and to stay connected to the vine, Jesus. A simple message of hope given by someone who has the credibility to provide it. But my brothers and sisters, Jesus is the most credible witness who feeds us in the Eucharist. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. This is his promise to us. So let's hold tightly to God's living word, allowing him to nourish us so that we may fulfill our mission as Catholics, building his kingdom here and now. Amen.